Hello everybody, it's Jamie from Bowie at Bushcraft and today we're going to be reviewing some kit. I've got some new kit here and I thought it would be a good idea to talk about it because this is actually very popular. So what I have here is the, made by DD Hammocks and it's the DD Tarp 3x3 meters. Um, let's just read through some of the spec on here. So size 3x3 meters, color, I went for the coat brown, um, polyester, uh, it includes four uh, guy ropes and four pegs. Um, I didn't bring them out. Attachment, it has 19 attachment points. And that's kind of its selling point. The fact that it's a square three by three tarp that has 19 attachment points, because as it says on here, allows for multiple set, uh, setup configurations, which is what made me want to buy it because there's all sorts of really nice configurations I'm seeing. However, today I'm actually going to be using it because I've got a couple of, I've got a small group coming, I'm going to be teaching them some bushcraft skills, and this is actually going to be a base camp. So it won't, I won't be doing a fun configuration with it today. However, I will do some videos on that. I also won't be explaining how to set up the tarp necessarily, or I'm going to film it, uh, because that's going to be a later video that I want to uh, focus on, on different configurations. Whereas today, like I say, I'm going to be actually just reviewing this bit of kit and giving you my thoughts on it. So, I suppose my first thought is it comes in a nice bag. Personally, I've never actually used bags to put my bashes and tarps in. I um, pack them up in a certain way and I tie the, the rope around it and, um, and that's what I do. So this may get ditched. Um, like I say, this is actually the first time it's come out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, DD Hammocks, actually, I think I'll first just talk a little bit about that. My experience with them in the past is when I was about 18, 17 or 18, they were very popular with us bushcrafters because they came out with um, a hammock. I think it was a tropical hammock. I can't remember its exact name. I sold mine because I simply don't like sleeping in hammocks. They're just not for me. I, I can get a good night's sleep on the floor and I never, never got into hammocks. Um, but they were very good. They were inexpensive, as this is inexpensive. I think I'll, I'll put a, a link below and, and, and prices and that kind of thing. I think these are maybe £30 or something like that, which, again, um, isn't a bad price because, uh, again, when I was at college studying bushcraft at about 18, it was very hard to get good bashes. I, in fact, have never bought one up until now. I've made all my own because the ones that were out there weren't very big. I think they were six foot by three or something like that. Maybe you know, I'm six foot myself. Um, they may have been a touch bigger. And uh, even if you did get under it, you know, with your 100 litre rucksack that you had maybe or, or whatever, uh, it, it wasn't very good. So I bought some rip stop and I started making my own. And I do remember buying a big, big basher that was actually for canoeists. And it was, uh, I think it was 16 foot long. It was made by True North, it was blue. And um, it, was, it was for sort of the length of a canoe. And that was about 80 pounds, which was a lot of money, especially for an 18 year old. So over the years, obviously, um, people have been trying to market products for bushcraft, which is both good and bad, because some are good and some aren't. And um, as a result of that, we're seeing maybe more affordable equipment. And um, I guess that's today's question. Is more affordable equipment good? Um, is this price, um, does, it, does it have a quality and a standard? Just looking at it, this is good that where the, so when I make my bashes, you've got to put an extra bit of something on there to toughen up where these uh, loops are because obviously they can rip off. The first ones I made, I didn't do that. I learned, okay, you need to put an extra bit of strength uh, patch there. So that's the first good sign here. And that looks like, a, I don't know what that is, but it looks like a pretty solid piece of uh, material. I like the color. There's lots, lots of green um, bashes around and I, I went for this brown. Um, so yeah, three by three, square, great. Um, people are doing all kinds of configurations. I'll be doing a simple one today to put my customers under and uh, I'm gonna put it up and tell you my thoughts on this product. So I just spent a little bit of time looking at this. Um, because I've never used it, I've never rigged it up how I'd like it to be rigged up with the ropes and guidelines. So I'll, be, I'll get into that on another video. Uh, again, this is just a review. But so far, so good. I'm, I'm happy with it. It seems like a pretty solid piece of kit and I'm just gonna get right at it and, and get it erected.
Okay, I've potentially already found something I don't like about it. These loops here hang quite low. I want this basher today to have people under it. It's quite hard for me to get this rope any higher and tie knots. Um, so I'd say maybe there's four inches there. So it's gonna hang four inches lower than I want it to. When I tighten it, that might come out. Now this isn't the biggest disaster in the world because not everyone's gonna be using this for uh, instructing lessons, but that's gonna be a bit awkward today. Okay, so I've put some tensioning hitches on here, which as you can see has taken out the slack for giving it a bit more height. Uh, so I would really say that these aren't really in use. They could be maybe half the size, but they could come in useful for different configurations. So maybe nothing lost, nothing gained. Again, so far, looking pretty good, looking pretty sturdy. I'm happy with it. Okay, I was mistaken. I did bring my tent pegs with me. I'll tell you why I told you I didn't. It's because um, I do not like cheap tent pegs like these. They're rubbish. I'm gonna use it today. Um, usually I'd make wooden pegs. These are often not very good. They're not very thick. They're not very stable and secure when you use them. Most people cut their own and make their, make their own cheap, nasty, I would ditch them. I don't hold it against them. Uh, they probably could come up with a better peg, but um, I, I, I wouldn't have used it anyway. I would cut my own, so. Just a close up. You probably saw tent pegs like this when you were a child going out camping that came with your tents. Uh, really not the best, but I'm, I'll see how it goes today. I suppose it's worth noting that it doesn't come with the guidelines attached to it, so you have to put those on yourself, which is perfectly normal. As suspected, these tent pegs really aren't holding up to the job. It nearly got pulled out then. So I think I'm gonna have to cut my own to continue this video. Okay, so instantly better. These, look, pulls it straight out. Silly, thin little pegs. This is gonna have a lot of tension on it. So it needs to be something that's up to the job and, and they aren't. It's quite a lot of strain there, so. Silly little pegs, chuck them in the bin.
Okay, so something worth noticing here. This is a lot of tension crossing out, and that's great. This is straight, it's flat. There's a slight crease there. That's not the tarp's fault. Um, that's just the angle of my guy lines there. So, what I wanted to say was, when I was looking at the, the DD tarp here, I noticed people's, some of their bashes were sagging. If you go look at people's days out that they post on certain groups, some people, if I'm honest, are a bit sloppy when they put their bashes up. Maybe someone's not shown them, they thought, oh, it's something that's easy to figure out, and it is. But go watch your video, like I said, I will make one. If we can get some good tension on there and it can be as flat as possible, that's good. We don't want any sagging because it can collect rain, it's gonna blow around in the wind, it's not good. In my early days of making bashes, I would put two pieces of ripstop together because I could only buy it in a certain size, so to make it the size I wanted, I had to join two. If it wasn't symmetrical and everything in line, um, the angles would be funny and there'd be a sag in this no matter how much tension I put on it. So another um, manufacturer could have an issue like that and I was concerned that this may have an issue like that simply from all the bit, uh, pictures I've seen of people that hadn't really erected it correctly. So it's good to find that that was user error and not DD hammock. So great. Okay, well she's up, and uh, what are my thoughts? Funnily enough, my first thought so is actually, three by three is not as big as I thought it was. That's obviously my own fault. Um, but uh, yeah, I kind of, kind of thought it'd be bigger. But um, I, guess my, I guess the question is, you know, should I tell someone to buy one? Probably won't buy another, to be honest. Maybe if they do smaller sizes, and I think they do. I think it's a, a good enough quality to buy as bashes for students coming on courses. As a group shout today, mm, I've only got three people coming down, but it'll be okay, I suppose. I think that it's a, of an okay quality. Uh, I'd have to test it for a little bit longer, see how it holds up in wind and, and getting thrown around and in your rucksack and all that kind of stuff. It's Nothing's torn when I've been um, tying knots to it and putting tension. And there is quite a lot of tension under all of this, actually. I really give it quite a, put it under a lot of tension. So overall, I'm happy. I think it's worth the money. I think maybe everyone should have a go with one. Maybe a good place to start. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. Uh, again, though, I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm amazed with it. I think it's just an okay piece of kit that um, really reflects its price. And I think that's fine. I think there's nothing wrong with that. So maybe go give it a try. Uh, there's a few different colors. And uh, I did buy it to try some of these other configurations. Now seeing the size, I'm a bit not sure about some of those because I'm, I'm you know, I'm six foot two and um, I'm just a bit not sure. So um, we'll get to that in a later video though when I do one of the bashes and uh, yeah, overall, I'm relatively happy with it. So I hope that this review is of some interest to you and you found it a benefit. I'm going to be doing reviews on other bits of uh, bushcraft equipment. I'm not going to be a review channel, but I will as we go along and I come across new bits of kit may as well uh, give my thoughts and opinions on it. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you again.